Dice Out and Runner Space USATF One Mile Road Championships. The greatness of Nikki Hiltz on display here in Des Moines, Iowa, ladies and gentlemen. The fastest ever in the history of the USATF One Mile Road Championships. And uh, this is an athlete that ran 429.7 already to, uh, to win this event once. Now 428, uh, absolutely an incredible performance. And like I said to Sinclair, it was like, you know, when 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 Katie came around and took it out, I was like, oh, we're like we're going, we're going like yeah. we're moving, and you just <laughs> never took your foot off the pedal. Yeah, yeah, no, it was fun. Um, yeah, I mean, we were like out in two thirteen, and um, I, I think I was just I didn't want it. My biggest fear. I don't know. I wanted to run fast because there's that world record on the yeah, line. But I mean, I think first and foremost, like compete and win is always my goal. So yeah, I was excited when it was honest. Yeah. How special is it? You know, because like you, uh, you know, I mean, whether it's a, a track race, whether it's you know a, a road race, uh, that you know, uh, sometimes you look and it's like, okay. Well, it's going to be fun to be around these people, but the field isn't necessarily going to going to challenge me. You know the, the way you want. Like, you know, I look at you know, 23 athletes, right? right? And we have you, the reigning USATF indoor 1500 champion, Sinclair. You know, the yeah. reigning USATF outdoor 1500 champion. Like, that's pretty special. Oh yeah. You know, and then obviously it plays to form, or the you know the two of you are just uh, right up there. Does does that get you excited when there's like yeah. 600 to go, 400 to go, 200 to go, and you and you know your closing speed and you know. Sinclair's closing speed yeah. like does that get you going definitely yeah I think um, I think it's kind of a testament to know where my mental health is and my confidence like I think two years ago if I saw the start list and saw how stacked it was I kind of would have been like ah, like you know like disappointed but I saw it and I was like hell yeah like, let's go like I think it's um, you know I love racing the best US athletes I love racing the best athletes in the world like I think the better the field the better I'm gonna be just like so I was really excited that you know Sinclair was in it and, and everyone else too yeah, yeah, super fun. Obviously, it, uh, it goes without saying that so many blessings in your life since you won this the first time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can, can you, uh, you know, can you just kind of encapsulate just how incredible this is? Like that, you know, that this Nikki Hiltz you know, uh, gets to uh, gets to come, you know, gets to come out here not only with the American flag, you know, but obviously with the pride flag. I mean, like th this is, I mean, like. This is the stuff that like brings tears to my eyes, like seeing like seeing you out there. Just so again, I go and I had the blessing of seeing you at the Sound Running event in Occidental. And we just talked about yeah. happiness, you yeah, know, yeah. mental health, physical health, and whatnot, and just just seeing like and all these people that just you know that, 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 <laughs> like, that love you so much. I mean, yeah. obviously that's a you know that's a contrast from you know what life was like back in 2019. Fair. Yeah, definitely. No, it's crazy. Like for how much has changed in these four years. Like, I mean, I'm out as non-binary and I use they them pronouns and like people respect them and are learning and it's like it makes me feel lighter and like no wonder I ran a second faster like I'm I'm just happier like showing up as yourself and being able to do that like it's been hard at times but it's so like rewarding in the end and like you know my sponsor Lululemon it's it's like such a weight off to run for a company that just wants to like no matter how I perform today they would like love me and I think that that's like my partner my coach like so much yeah so much good and happiness in my life and leaning into the people and things that bring me happiness is really, yeah, it's just been, yeah, I feel, I look back to 2019, Nikki, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just so proud of, like, how far I've come, and, like, um, the people today, like, so, I saw so many pride flags that last hundred, and I feel like that really kind of was what pushed me a little bit ahead of Sinclair, like, I feel like I'm, like, running for something bigger than myself, and it really, like, really can help me when you can tap into that. 100%. Uh, so not only brilliant coach being able uh, to get to get Emma to the level that Emma's at already in the, in, in the steeplechase and then obviously yeah. uh, you collaborating with uh, with with, uh, with your coach and, and obviously all the people uh, in your corner and, and, and supporting you it's just yeah. an absolutely beautiful wonderful thing to, uh, to see and uh, we hope the momentum doesn't slow down anytime soon thank you so much congratulations Vicky. <laughs>